What's pop locking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy Jay Les, and I'm back at it with another video here. And in this video, man, I got a I got an awesome idea. Basically, what I want to do is there's this restaurant where I live called Hale and Hog, and basically what they do is they take kettle cooked chips and they put pulled pork and barbecue sauce over it with like some crunchy. Uh, like crunchy onions and um, green onions and, and all this stuff and it's so fucking good well Jay Les is going to recreate his own version with his own spin on it to the hog chips so y'all know I'm a Redskins fan so this is going to be Jay Les's hog chips here. and I'm chilling with my girl Zena come here to babies come here to babies yeah I got the big girl with me today you know so she gonna she gonna have to sit in the car and watch her daddy, you know, do some goddamn girl. Now you goddamn, shit. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. They're my babies. They're my babies. They're my babies. All right. So yeah, basically, uh, your boy's gonna recreate some hog chips, and I'll catch you guys when we in the stove with it. All right. Here we are at the trusty Aldi. Let's get this shit going. Yeah. All right, guys, so your boys just finished this shopping. I'm about to go home, hop in the shower, preheat the oven, and we about to recreate these motherfucking hog chilts here. So stay tuned, bro. What's poppin' YouTube? All right, so we're back in the lovely crib, the humble abode, whatever you want to talk about, and I'm going to show you guys what your boy copped, here. All righty, so... This is all of everything I got. So, of course, the, the main part is the kettle chips. Those are the two main portions. Then comes the hamburger. You know, I got 80% lean, 20% fat. It's not the healthiest kind of meat, but, you know, that's why your boy got a couple extra pounds on him. Then I got the Sloppy Joe mixture. So, that's going to be the kind of change with these so, quote, unquote, hog chips is I'm using Sloppy Joe instead of pulled pork. Um, I got jalapenos to kind of spice it up, onions for add a little extra flavor, and of course, the motherfucking cheese. The motherfucking cheese, dog. So, uh, yeah, so let's get, uh, so first we're going to ground the ground beef, and uh, then while that's doing, we're going to chop these other things and all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's get it cracking. Alrighty, so your boy's got his pan ready. You know, there's the flame heating up the pan. Uh, and here's our hamburger. So we're just going to go ahead and just kind of dump that in there. Uh -huh. Peel that off. Ooh, it's nasty. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're going to start off with. We're just, as you can hear it already sizzling. Let me get my utensil over here. Chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Get her in a groove. It's going to be kind of hard to do this one hand. So guys, I apologize if... You guys don't get to see every little thing that I do. It's just because it's going to be hard for me to film it. Um, so just kind of bear with me. But yeah, so right now we're going to get that hamburger meat going. And then we're going to come over here and start chopping some of these lovely vegetables. All right, sorry you guys have to see my big belly. Get in my belly. But um, all right, so right now we're going to chop up the jalapenos. Um, I like to keep keep the ends off, so we're just going to set those over here. Um, it's all preference in terms like if you want it to be like whole jalapenos or if you want it to be chopped up. Me, I don't want the jalapenos to uh, kind of be recognized in this dish. I kind of just want it there for the flavor, for the, the little hint of spice, you know what I'm saying? I don't really... I don't really want it to be like, oh shit, that's a jalapeno. You know what I mean? So for me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them up a little bit, you know, cause you know, they, you know, once you, you chop them up a little bit, um, and then you mix them in with the, the mixture, uh, it's just going to add a little tang. I'm hoping that it doesn't make it too spicy cause destiny, she's going to be kind of like my Guinea pig. Um, so I just hope that I don't I don't make it too spicy, you know. 
Now we're on to the onion. I didn't think that we had onions, but we actually have a very big bag over here in our uh, onion uh, vegetable basket. So I'm kind of pissed off, but these are what they call sweet onions. So I'm kind of trying to go for that like sweet and savory kind of uh, combination. Like, you know, spice it up with, you know, um, the actual like jalapeno and then kind of just you know, season it well, and um, so I'm, I'm actually getting, all right, so there we go, onions butt naked nasty in here, um, the onions I want to be a little bit more prominent, because I personally enjoy when, um, when like I bite down into an onion, like on a burger or something, um, however, I know that Destiny's, you know, she's, she likes onions, but I think she likes hers chopped up a little fine. So I'm just going to kind of do a rough chopping job on these guys. Um, nothing too fancy. I, I mean, I can't really chop that well anyway. I'm not as good as Destiny. Um, so, but what I can do is I can kind of just give it this rough cut. So now that we got a rough cut of our onions and our jalapenos are chopped up, I'm going to use these green onion, onions almost as like a garnishment on top of everything when everything's done with the cheese. So we're not, so we're done cutting um, the vegetables. So let's go over and see. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's actually kind of greasy. I'm kind of upset about that. Um, but that's what happens when you don't get better quality meat. You get a bunch of grease. So I am going to have to drain um this meat before before I uh mix everything together so all right so we'll see you when meat's done and we've added everything including the sauce and all the vegetables so we didn't have tin foil so I just literally layered it with a fuck ton of cooking spray alrighty so we put our one bag of chips down and now we have our mixture on top so now I'm actually gonna layer the top of it with cheese. So now I got the chips, the mixture, and the cheese on top. Yes, I did use the whole bag because I fucking love cheese. So, all right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stick this in the oven for probably around 10 minutes. Basically, I just wanna make sure that the cheese melts really well on it, and then boom, it'll be done and we get to try this motherfucker. And bim, bam, thank you, Sam. There she is. The Sloppy Joe Hog Chips, a.k.a. the J-less Hog Chips. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some, boy. Look at that. I literally cut a perfect square out of there. Oh, my God. I can't wait for Destiny to try this. I hope this shit tastes awesome because I've never really created or anything even though like this is sloppy joe and kettle chips i'm just cooking it in like a casserole form i am really proud and i really hope that these joints taste like the fucking shit because it'll make your boy happy so let's go let's go ahead and revert to the face cam where i'm trying these motherfuckers welcome back guys this is the closing segment of this cooking with j less video i guess you could say um got my my hog chips my j less hog chips right here so i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna dig in fuck it let's use a fork let's, let's get right in there get some of that good shit mm. Mm. Fucking-tastic! If you like Sloppy Joes, and you like Kettle Cooked Chips, you gotta try this, man. Like, you you could take out any of the vegetables or stuff that you might not like in the recipe that I did, but that shit is on point. And I hope Destiny likes it, because she's not a very big fan of Sloppy Joe, but... I, and, and she doesn't really like it that cheesy, which I did make it really cheesy, but 
I don't think she'd be able to deny this. Like, like it's so fucking good. Like, Jay Less approved, man. Go make you some Jay Less hog chips. Get you some kettle cooked chips. You and you can switch it up, man. Like, if you want barbecue chips, get the barbecue kettle chips. If you want, um. Jalapeno kettle cooked chips, get those. It, it's all it's all customizable to your preference. I just well the only kettle cooked chips they had at the store were plain. I personally would have used barbecue or jalapeno personally, but this is still very fucking good and I'm very excited that I made it. So please drop a like down on the video. Please comment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. So let your boy know what you thought, and that's going to do it for the video, you guys, and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side, you Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love